In this video, I'm gonna walk you through an actual monster battle tournament that really took place featuring monsters like this Bulbasaur sword tail blue lizard looking thing. This was a party game involving people of all walks of life. There were brothers, sisters, mom, dads, friends, family, total strangers, and we had a blast together. You can see the rules on screen. If you'd like a complete walkthrough of the rules, check the description for a video for that. This will be the actual play-by-play -play featuring all the illustrations and the actual results that we walked through. Stay to the end, there's a twist. You're not gonna expect who won and why. So here we are in my historic chat GPT history, and I'm gonna walk you through the actual tournament as it happened. So to start with, there were five monsters in the tournament. I said pick two numbers. It selected monster two and four. Here's the actual prompt I used. For each monster, please give a strength level between one and 10, and so on. In the initial fight, there were five players. Two of us were fighting, so there were three independent parties. And here were the three one-sentence descriptions of monster two. It looks like a flying bomb shark. It has an antenna on its head, blue light fish with back blades. Chat GPT named this monster the Sky Shark Bombardier with an air slash water element, which wasn't expected. There was no suggestion that it could combine elements. It shows a strength level of seven with a special ability, aerial bombardment. It said that this Sky Shark Bombardier can fly high into the sky and drop explosive energy bombs that it generates from its body. Monster 4 was described as a numchuck wielding angry cactus with a top hat. It has sharp pricks and is sitting in a pot. One player described it as Michael Jackson, potted cactus with nunchucks. GPT named this monstrosity Prickle Fury with an earth element and a strength level of six. Chat GPT decided to impose range differences with this monster ability, which was another unexpected and creative element. Prickle Fury uses its nunchucks not only for close combat, but also as a medium to launch its thorns at opponents. The thorns are laced with a toxin that causes temporary paralysis. When we first asked how the battle went, you can see that ChatGPT was indecisive. It said that Skyshark Bombardier has the advantage of flight, which could pose a problem. However, etc., etc. In conclusion, the winner of the fight would likely be Skyshark Bombardier. But this is not what we were looking for. We were not looking for an analysis of likely winner or possibly winner. We wanted a specific narration of the battle. In the end, Sky Shark Bombardier won this fight. The next fight involved a monster that was described as kind of like a lizard Bulbasaur, but with a tail of five blades and no bulb on its back. A green lizard with spikes, and it has small, sharp teeth and claws on its feet. ChatGPT named this Blade Tail Lizard R, an earth element with a strength level of eight and a blade tail whirlwind ability. The blue spots on its back are actually hardened scales that provide extra defense. Monster 3 looks like an orange dragon, but also slightly like a llama with sharp blue teeth. It has beady eyes with a yellow pupil and a pointy chin. It was interesting to see what aspects of the picture various players sort of fixated on and called out and communicated to ChatGPT, and what elements were left out. GPT named this Flame Lamagon. I absolutely think some of these names are hilarious because of the way GPT blends the logic of a program and the creativity of, an, of a language model. So if you tell it that it looks a little bit like a llama and a little bit like a dragon, you get a Lamagon. Strength level of nine with the special ability Inferno Breath. In the end, Flame Lamagon wins. Next is Monster 5, a rainbow bunny bear where the rainbow is shades of neon green, pink, and orange, has death in her eyes, a dangerous bunny with five fingers and dangerous paws. This is a rainbow bunny with chubby fingers and cross eyes. By the way, notice that this is a fight between monster five and nine. That's because we simply decided as a group to add a round and a new player joined in. So there's even more description here. So notice again that the game can scale up. You can extend it. You can quickly decide to shorten it by executing a battle royale if you run into a pinch of time. This is a very flexible game. So Monster 5 is named the Neon Doom Bunny with an element of light and a Rainbow Doom Gaze special ability. 
a Monster 9 described as a flamingo with a snake's body that carries a microphone. A neon pink and orange flamingo head on a spring body with a single large blade as a tail. I thought this one was hilarious to see how people looked at this picture and what they thought it was. And this was definitely a case where the young artist had an intent that varied greatly from the actual descriptions of the observers. One player said it is a neon flame genie with a sword weapon. A different player described it in a radically different fashion, a slime monster that is bright and holding a cannon. In the end, this was Serpent Song Flamagon, a fire slash sound element, and we thought it was extremely surprising that GPT would suggest sound as an element. This was an unexpected and fun twist. Strength level here, eight. Ultimately, the Serpent Song Flamagon wins. Monster Six described as a bearded pope holding a sword in the shield of God. A man that has a full body of armor except no helmet. A beaded, I think that's a typo, I think it should have said bearded. In any case, we told GPT this is a beaded bald knight with big metal boots and a medic shield. Chat GPT named this Holy Knight Beard Slay. So apparently it understood that we meant bearded and not beaded. Gave it a light element in a massive strength level of nine, the special ability of divine protection. This monster is extremely effective against dark and evil creatures. His full body armor, big metal boots make him well defended. Monster 10 is a green sort of dragon or Godzilla type beast that uses a pink energy field to carry the heart of its latest victim around it. It's also been called a lizard man with bloodshot eyes, a big overbite, has five small pointy teeth, spikes along its back, and an eight pack. So this monster got a massive strength level of 10, an earth energy element named Heart Stealer Drakzilla with a special ability Heart Energy Field. GPT decided its five small pointy teeth are sharp enough to pierce through armor. That doesn't sound great for Holy Knight Beardslay, does it? In the end, Heart Stealer Drakzilla won. This next monster was called a fire breathing snake with metal rattle. Described as a king cobra at a beach, a big red viper snake with big red venomous fang teeth, a dangerous gray tail, orange triangles on its back, two large fangs. GBT called this one Pyro Viper. Gave it an element of fire, spot on, strength level eight, special ability, inferno fangs. Totally looks like a monster you would find in your classic RPG. Here we ran into an issue because we were using GPT-4 and we hit our rate limit. So I started a new thread using the default model GPT 3.5. I had to transfer over knowledge of the existing monsters. So I just put their results, the name, Pyro Viper, Element Fire, Strength Level 8, all of those outputs from GPT 4, I put them into GPT 3.5. Now we're able to proceed with Monster 11 with the unlimited GPT 3.5 requests in this new chat. Monster 11 was described as a bloodthirsty tornado monster with an evil smile. Imagine how different that description was from the next description, a demon potato with sharp claws possessed by a vampire. A third commenter agreed, this is absolutely a bloodthirsty potato monster with horns and claws. GPT 3.5 named this Vampotorn, gave it an element of wind, strength level of 9, and a special ability, Bloodstorm Fury. Ultimately, Vampotorn's higher strength level gave it the W. Now we have Monsters 8 and 12. Monster 8 described as a white unicorn with blue and pink hair shooting thunder out of its nostrils. Cotton candy unicorn that shoots electricity out of its nose and has gorgeous eyeshadow. This monster is named Thunderfluff Unicornia. Element Lightning, Strength Level of 7. And they will fight a pumpkin-headed ghost with dragon wings, fire on its head, and cannons on its back. Also described as a pumpkin man with cannons and a blue light on its head. Third commenter left nothing about a pumpkin, saying a moderately young dragon with enormous black cannons and an ever-burning mystical tricolor gem on its forehead that vomits purple flames with black shadows. This monster was named Blaze Geist, Pyro Drake, element of fire, strength level of nine. Special ability, the Infernal Cannonade. 
Considering their respective abilities and strengths, Blazegeist Pyrodrake holds the advantage in this battle. It has a higher strength level, devastating fire-based attacks, and the ability to project unique purple flames with black shadows. So in GPT's mind, that is a unique advantage. And the Pyrodrake wins. At this point, we asked GPT to concisely list the winners so far in this tournament. Here is the list of six winners that we have. And we called for a battle royale to wrap this thing up. One additional monster was drawn. That is Duck Boy. And an interesting prompt was given for the battle royale. The Swan Queen has called for a final showdown among the seven warriors. It is a free-for-all. The winning monsters are six of them, and her silly nephew Duck Boy is the seventh. In a field of flowers, all seven fight until only one remains conscious. Whoever wins gets a million dollars. Who wins? What do they do with that money? Keep in mind that Duck Boy is holding one of those things that you find in prison and has an orange shirt and a history of violence. GPT 3.5 refuses to give us a clear answer, saying given the unpredictable nature of the showdown, it's not possible to determine a specific winner. So I flipped the script on it and I tried to simplify the problem. I said, if it is too complicated to determine the winner, simply describe the events of the first 30 seconds of this final showdown. Who is knocked out first? GPT found this simple enough. Duck Boy got wrecked. Within the first 30 seconds, Duck Boy finds himself overwhelmed by the combined efforts of the remaining six warriors. Apparently, they just ganged up on this guy immediately. Brutal. Their coordinated attacks proved too much for him to handle, and he got wrecked. Who is knocked out next and why? Serpent Song Flamagon. Recognizing the threat posed by Serpent Song Flamagon, the remaining monsters launch a coordinated assault. And I notice a tendency of GPT to say everyone gangs up on this one guy. So to throw a twist in there, I said, who are the next two eliminated? GPT says, amidst the chaotic and fast-paced final showdown, the remaining five monsters engage in a fierce struggle. Flame Lamagon becomes a primary target. Recognizing the danger, two of the remaining monsters, Thunderfluff Unicornia and Blazegeist Pyrodrake, launch a combined assault on Flame Lamagon. So notice of the five, we have a micro battle of three going on, two on one. Let's see what else happens. Flame Lamagon is eliminated. The remaining four continue their intense clash. The fourth monster to be eliminated is Thunderfluff Unicornia. Despite its lightning powers and agility, Thunderfluff Unicornia becomes the target of both Sky Shark Bombardier and Holy Knight Beardslay, who recognize its vulnerability in the relentless battle. Now only three remain, Sky Shark Bombardier, Holy Knight Beardslay, and Heart Stealer Drakzilla. If you recall, Heartstealer Drakzilla is the only monster to get a strength score of 10. So at this point, all of the players are thinking that ultimately Heartstealer Drakzilla is going to win. So now that it's down to three, I'm thinking from here we can go to the winner. I ask who wins and what do they do with the money? GPT says, in the thrilling conclusion of the final showdown, after a fierce struggle, the ultimate victor emerges, Sky Shark Bombardier. With its aerial advantage and relentless attacks, it manages to overcome the formidable defenses of its remaining opponents. Now GPT tries to punt. It says the Bombardier claims the million dollar prize. What it chooses to do with the money is entirely up to its individual disposition and desires. We're not letting GPT get away with that. I say the options are not endless. Pick a specific charity and explain why. If the Bombardier didn't pick a charity, explain why it didn't. Ultimately, GPT decides Sky Shark Bombardier, with its deep connection to the skies and oceans, chooses to donate a significant portion of the million dollar prize to the Ocean Conservancy. This organization works tirelessly to protect and restore the health of the world's oceans, addressing issues such as pollution, overfishing, and habitat destruction. So there you have it. There was the result of our tournament. I thought it was an interesting and fun experience. Everyone got a laugh out of it, and I hope you're able to do the same.